Well, good morning. We are today looking at Numbers 33, and it gives us an account of the journey of the people of Israel, the Old Testament people of God, uh, starting where they started uh, in the land of Egypt in that uh, place of great bondage, of slavery, and how God delivered them. It starts with Passover then, and Moses, we're told, recorded this stage by stage according to the places where they went over this 40-year uh, period. So starting with that place of bondage at the time when the firstborn of Egypt had died, it says that Israel went out triumphantly in the sight of all the Egyptians. And this was not only about God's uh, victory over the Egyptians, but it says here that it was also uh, the Lord executing his judgments on their gods, their false gods, their idols. Um, and then we're told about the various places that they went, and that's listed, and Ramsey, Succoth, Etham, and so forth. Quite a lot of names of places in this chapter. I just want to point to a few of these names here. First, at Elam, E-L-I-M, we're told that there, there were 12 springs of water and 70 palm trees, and they camped there. You know, when life is full of so much uh, wilderness, you would really note it when you came to a place where there's springs of water there. It, and that's, that's a great, great gift of God. It's, it's one of the things we should notice and give him thanks for. But how about this? It also talks about Rephidim, and it says there was no water for the people to drink there. So do we note also the trials? I think we do. Is sometimes we might just complain to ourselves about them and complain about our lot in life when in fact we need to actually be able to give thanks also for the trials. That's a, that's a hard one. So whether it's a place of provision or a place of uh, difficulty, that we need to recognize that there, there is a God who's leading us forward. Maybe you're in one of those places of difficulty right now and you realize that the same God who provided his son to be an atoning sacrifice for you has ordained all things whatsoever in your life. He's working out some purpose of grace through the difficulty that you're even in right now. And, and we're with one another in these places, and we note them. We note them. Now, what else do we see? We, we note that there are times of death, and it's mentioned here that towards the end of their journey, that Aaron, the priest, he went up on Mount Hor, which was connected with Edom, and uh, he died there according to God's command. And once again, we, we, we live according to the will of the Lord. We die according to the will of the Lord. And we mark that in our lives. These are significant events. And we take stock of, of things that are difficult to express. Uh, we, we recognize the truth that God is in charge of our lives. Also, we have significant moments of danger. And here it's said that the Canaanite king of Arad, who lived in the Negev in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the people of Israel. And they, they heard about him hearing about their coming. And of course, they're recognizing that there are people in this land. We're being led into this land, and they're not going to go along with God's plan here. So there's a fight ahead. So uh, we also uh, are given warning by the Lord for the old covenant people here. And that was within the context of God saying, well, this is how I'm going to distribute the land by lot according to the tribes. Larger tribes going to get a larger piece of land, smaller tribe, smaller piece, but then everything done according to lot. And, um, and here was the command, you need to drive out the inhabitants of the land uh, from before you if you don't do that, then there are going to be thorns in your side and they'll trouble you in the land where you dwell and, and I will do to you as I thought to do to them. So this is a, an important warning and that's the last, the last thing that we see in this chapter. And see all of this, if you think about the journal of your own life, think about where you've been, where God has taken you, what he's been doing, how you came to know him, where you're headed, right? Um, the uh, trials that you face, the provisions that you've known, the warnings from God that you've taken stock of, and the hope that you have of, about journey's end. It's really 
it's quite a ride we've been on. It's, you know, it's much better than their journey through the wilderness. Their journey ended in, in Canaan. And what it said was there's going to be trouble there too. See, we have journey ending in the place that our captain has won for us, heaven. Jesus is the captain of our salvation. And in that place, it, you know, that every tear will be wiped away and you're, you will have no more trouble in that land, let us pray. Father, this is the hope that we lay hold of today, that, that Jesus, who died for us, is leading us forward, and that your, purpose, your purposes for us are, are good, even in trial, even in warning, and dangers that we face, and certainly in provisions. We know you are our God. You'll lead us forward to the perfect place of resurrection life. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you now, and have a have a wonderful journey today.